I go to number one in the entire world in Clash Royale after the new Clash Royale June update. And I use this absolutely incredible Hawk Psycho variation with the new Evolution Firecrack in today's Clash Royale. Which I'm going to show you how it'll be the best base in the world. It's the new best deck in Clash Royale. Also, just to let you know, guys, the next couple of days, there will be more Evolution decks on this channel with the Skeleton Evolution, of course, the Barbarians, and also the Royal Giant, which you might be excited about. And also, guys, if you guys don't want to miss this type of content, subscribe, give a fat thumbs up on the video, and also make sure to use Creative Mall in the shop if you guys want to support me even more so guys actually if you guys don't know there's also currently a bug in clash Royale. and maybe some of you guys noticed that maybe some of you guys didn't notice that because it's not going that viral on twitter as i expected currently there is the mighty minor bug which kind of means the mighty minor drops the bomb or like when the mighty minor goes with, uh, like dropping a bomb when you're using the ability it does like 800 damage which is absolutely incredible. It's like a G Skelly Bomb, right? So it almost kills Skate Ranks, or like it kills Skate Ranks of Ice Bird. It does pretty well against Balloon, way better against Golden Pushes. And of course, when you're getting the Mighty Miner on Tower, it's dealing so, so much damage for just one Elixir. And of course, that's the bug, which is really helpful for the stack. It will be fixed really, really soon. But I, honestly, I didn't know about that until I played my, like, my last few games. So. I don't know how I couldn't notice that. I was, I thought I was a pro, but maybe not really. So we're facing off like a lava on freeze deck, and I can tell, I guess, the freeze is really annoying for us in some uh, situations, especially when I don't, when I don't have anything against air in hand, like an ice bird or cracker. But the good thing is the evolution cracker doesn't die to ever. So of course I want to get as much evolution cracker value as I can. So. I am just gonna use my ability, a really smart ability, but I should have pre-locked here. I should have just pre-locked here. Pre-lock would have been the, the good play. Um, I locked a bit too late, and also what was really annoying here, how did the firecracker got killed by the Skelly D? I was so, so sure that this wouldn't happen, but it did happen. So, I'm just gonna go in for this. He just decides to go in Balloon here at 5, because he knew I was kinda down on so I'm just gonna use my Evolution for, uh, Cracker, and of course, using the Evolution Firecracker is nothing you really want to do because you're kind of wasting one of the best cards against Lava and pushes the Evolution Cracker. Why does it work so, so well in this type of deck? It's honestly because the synergy with the EQ and the Evolution Cracker. You guys might ask now, how does it make sense? The, uh, the Earthquake, of course, is really good against any type of building and the Evolution Cracker is just like this splash unit you kind of need against big Golem pushes, against big Lava and pushes. And it does really, really well, even like better than normal Cracker against like Skelly Dragon push, against Electro Dragon push, especially with the Mighty Miner ability. Of course, the Mighty Miner ability right now is pretty busted because of the bug, but also with like the normal Mighty Miner ability, with, like just like 400 damage on top of the tower and on top of the troops. So I just think like the synergy between Earthquake and kind of the poison effect um, of the Evolution Crack is absolutely insane. Also, let me know, guys, did you unlock already any um, Evolution card and when, uh, and when you decided to unlock, uh, if you decided to unlock one, which did you, uh, which did you unlock, guys? Was like the... The Firecracker or Warrior Giant, because I would say the Firecracker for me is personally the best one. Of course, the next couple of days I will show you also different decks with other cards, but I just personally feel like that um, Firecracker is overall the best and most solid one. So, just diving down into this game once again. So, we're just gonna go for the Hockey. I'm just gonna go for the Locky, and he does it pretty well. He just goes on the Forgotten Sea. I, I thought, okay. This game will be most likely over, but as you guys can see here, I'm just gonna start Goblin Sea. I'm just gonna go for another Hawk here. And my Hawk is actually able. To get to tower in the last possible second, we are back in this game. We're just gonna go for the bomb tier. Of course, the bomb tower still allows his hawk, uh, to his loon to get one shot. But now I got the evolution firecracker on the map, and I know the only way for him to kill evolution firecracker is going freeze arrows. Something you never ever want to do as a live one player. So I'm just gonna go in for this here. Now I'm just gonna use my ability, a perfect ability. Actually, I can just use my ice bird here. And as you guys can see, he needs to really overcome it. So. I'm just gonna go in for gob uh, Goblin See, He just kinda waits like for going for Barbarians and I can just cycle another Cracker. Also, of course, the free card cycle is just so, 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 so strong. And also, my Mighty Mine is still alive. So he needs to go for Goblins. I'm just deciding to use my ability now. And my Fire Cracker gets so, so much value here. So I'm just gonna go for this. He just decides to mostly like, go now for his Lava in the pocket. This is kinda what I knew. So I'm just gonna go pressure with Hawk Rider. I'm just gonna go for the Bomb Tower. He still needs to use his arrows here on defense. So this kinda means, okay, just spam the Crackers mod. Do spam the Fire Crackers. This is kinda what's gonna win you the game. So I'm just gonna go for this here. Look at this. I can just go now for my uh, Goblins here. Just to keep up the pressure. And now I'm just gonna go now for another Hawk Rider here. So I'm also gonna go, I think, do I go for a pre-lock here? Yes, I do go for the pre-lock here. 
But look at the look at the volume we're getting here. So he needs to cycle once again. I'm just gonna go now for another Hawk Rider here and using my Evolution Cracker once again, or like this time I predicted by the bridge. And my Evolution Cracker gets on top of the tower. We're just gonna use an EQ and beat a Lava on Matcher, which would, would feel like uh, which feels like a bit impossible if we fall the balance change or not before the balance change, before the update. But right now it's so so easy to win. This is also a perfect example which I was like kind of talking about, kind of like the Fire Quick as like your main uh, splash damage unit, like a poison against this type of golem deck which you're gonna get to see here right now and also i would say for me personally the fire quick is the best one i kind of overweighted maybe the royal giant a bit don't get me wrong the royal giant can be pretty busted but on pro level what i kind of fought like top 50 top 10 people like bomb tower does pretty well against with the ice but mighty minor has like played a lot so this i kind of like still counter guards against it so i wouldn't say it's like over over like powered it's of course on the stronger side but i would say the cracker is the most uh it's like the strongest card also like this deck so many pro pros are playing it so if like having or like the uh, if you have like the evolution of the firecracker already make sure to use this deck but i know all um i also know that most of you guys don't have this yet because since you have i think since you you had to pay um to already unlock this right now one day after the update but just like kind of good message also for you guys in the next couple of days there will be a challenge release where you're able to get enough um evolution charts to um to get one Evolution so every single player who's like attending to this challenge and gets this wins I think it's a casual challenge So you will get it anyway will be able to play one card evolution on ladder So just to let you know that's a really good message I think so free to play wise every single one is able to unlock one I would say if you're like kind of taking a look of course I will show like some decks in the next couple of days But if you're like Royal Giant play it makes 100% sense to use that like I would say like Royal Giant is the go to card if you're like using Royal Giant deck, but like Firecracker would say, like, if you're like a really good Hawk Cycle player, maybe like Cycle playing in general, I would say like Evo's uh, the evolution skills, they're kind of underwhelming in my opinion right now. They're not really too, too great. Um, because I just feel like they don't really get. I, they're really solid, but I wouldn't say it makes sense in Cycle decks, as an example, to kind of put the evolution um, or like use the evolution spot for skills. I think this is kind of the uh, right wording there. So far, we're doing a pretty good job here. I think I'm just gonna use my Evolution Cracker now. And I think I'm just gonna instantly go now for my Hawk Rider here. And my Hawk Rider does a pretty good job. Evolution Cracker is still on the map. And of course, I wanna get as much Evolution Cracker value as I can. So I'm just gonna go on here for my uh, Mighty Miner. And look at this Evolution uh, uh, evolution Cracker. It's absolutely incredible. One more shot here. Of course, trying to protect it here with the Ice Spirit here. It's still alive. It's still doing a pretty good job. And I'm just gonna use an ability here. And I think right now, I'm just gonna go in for my Hawk Rider here. Good Hawk Rider, but since he has to go now for his um, Lumberjack and our Lumberjack, his Lumberjack won't be enough. And my Firecracker, Evolution Cracker is still there. It's still there. And also I get another Cracker. I get like the third Cracker now on the map, which kind of means, okay, after this Cracker, I will have the next Cracker uh, up again. So he still has to use a Tornado here if he decides to like use it or not, because if he's not gonna use it, I can just go in for an Earthquake Cycle. So I'm just gonna go now for my Ice Spirit here. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna relax it first before going for the Q side because I kinda knew he would like just bridge me. So I'm just gonna cycle lock here. Great lock, using my ability now. Really good ability and now I can just easily go now for my Hawk right here, kite everything away. And I know he doesn't have enough elixir for Elite Barbarians so I can just go now for my Earthquake to finish him off. Or my Hawk right does it so. Man, like the, the thing is like this deck was already busted without the uh, evolution um, Firecracker but it's so so good right now and it feels so satisfying. To just defend all the golem pushes, e giant pushes, and lava pushes. Kind of matchups we were struggling before because you didn't have a big spell, but the firecrack evolution does the job there. So, next up game here versus Remy Ellie. You guys know him, he's so so good with this type of deck. And this is honestly, I feel like an impossible matchup since he has like he has like tornado, he has the magic arch, which you don't really have too much in uh, against. But I can also tell you guys this mighty minor bug is absolutely huge because normally the mighty minor ability doesn't one shot magic archer and you kind of need to also log it so mighty mine ability plus log is normally doing the job but this time this time <laughs> the magic uh, the, uh, the mighty mining ability one shots the magic archer so this is really great but also a really good start here firecracker getting decent amount of chip damage and we are already good damage advantage i can just go in for the log here and this is kind of what i like to see so I guess I'm just gonna go now like for like I think I was gonna wait a bit and I think he just decides to go in for his spear golems at the bridge So I'm just gonna respond with goblins immediately Really good goblins by the way. This was really well played because now I can go for clean ice boot Great defense Morton well keep it up I'm just gonna go now for my mighty my uh, for my firecrack on the back and like 
this is a really a game where I'm trying to get EQ damage, of course. Want to pretend the Magic Arch of getting too much value, and of course, getting Firecracker Chip. Firecracker Chip. Somehow, some way, if you place a Knight in the back, going for the Firecracker the bridge and kind of getting damage as much as we can. So, I'm just going to go now for my lock here, taking the chip damage, of course, because I can. There's no really nothing worry to worry about there. So, I'm just going to play the lock aggressive. And he just decides to go on for this. I'm just going to go for my Goblin C immediately at the bridge. And I have. I have my Mighty Miner now there to get the free card cycle. And also, as you guys can see, Evolutions activated. Let's go. I personally like Evolutions. I mean, I feel like... Mm, it's personally, I don't really like it um, that not everybody can use it currently. But also, look like, look at the Evolution Cracker. How much ship damage we are getting. This is absolutely mind-blowing, guys. This is mind-blowing. How much damage we are getting with this. Like, this is like kind of what I uh, want to talk about, right? Like... Evolution Cracker and this type of matchups is the game difference. This matchup I wouldn't have won without um, the Evolution Cracker. But yeah, kind of my point is I really like um, card evolution. I know maybe you guys have a different opinion on that. But I personally think this is awesome. Um, I also think it's pretty bad that not everybody can use it right now. Um, but I personally think it's good at least that they make a challenge there that like everybody will use it soon. But that not everybody can use it right now, of course. It's not really too cool. I would like to see like everybody using that, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. The thing is, like, I, of course, bought this offer to create content because I, and I also have fun using this type of abilities or, like, this evolutions. I think it makes sense for you guys. But I can kind of see the pain because it's, like, really, really expensive and it doesn't make any sense to buy, like, when you're not, like, getting your old mo own money or, like, you're playing Clash Royale a lot, you're a content creator or something, but as a student or something, it doesn't make sense. So don't buy this offer. Um, maybe, like, the 11th or the 11 year offer, but I don't really think... This offer is really great. So I would say like the only real worth it offer to buy is the one or twenty dollar or euro offer, however you want to call it. But this is like way too expensive for for like everyone. So this is kind of the problem, right? So I don't know. But yeah, just hope with the challenge soon that everybody of you guys will also be able to play this type of stuff because I think it's really fun and I personally have fun, but maybe you guys don't. I think it's really hard to tell. So I'm just gonna use the ability, a really great ability. Look at this. This was absolutely incredible. So I'm just gonna use a pre EQ here and. This interaction that was so so clean. So he needs to go for a lock here. We do get one hog rider shot, we do get two hog rider shots, and this was really good. Of course, like also my ability was good anyway. Um I just had to use a log in defense with all the bug. But it seems like he is giving up here because he knows it's over and we are beating a really tough matchup here. So guys, here we go into a live game and try to get the number one spot back here against trainer Adnan. So if you guys watch until now, you guys have a live game. And if not, that's your punishment. So I'm just gonna go for the hogway here, opposite lane. Let's see how it's gonna respond to that. Bomb tower. So it will be mirror matchup. A fun fact is my last four games were mirror matchups. So yeah, this deck is like everybody's using this deck. This is the only weird deck right now in Clash Royale. And I was kind of surprised by that because I thought really the Firecracker is kind of the best card, but the Firecracker, I mean the Void Giant, but the Void Giant doesn't really get used too much, and the Firecracker seems to be more consistent. Interesting. Hmm, just gonna use a lock here. Okay, I'm just gonna use my ice bird. Or rider. Okay, that's that's fine for me. I mean he's using a bomb tower for elixir, that's completely fine commitment. Hmm, what's the next play gonna be? Maybe just going for my crack in the back. Let's do it. Goblins. Ice bird. No, the Hawk Rider got pushed to the side. This is awesome. Let's go. Hawk Rider gets two shots on top of the opponent's tower. Of course, this King Tower is activated. But I will take this. I will absolutely take this. Okay, I need to go Cracker here. Evolution Cracker. I'm kind of scared of his Hawk. Okay, I don't want him to use the ability there. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, guys. I can just go easily for my bomb tower. He will most likely just use a... Just use a defensive hawk there. No, he just use the ability. Oh, almost chipped the other lane, but chipped the right lane. Okay. We're gonna freak on him, guys. For sure, we're gonna freak on him. Just gonna go for my bomb tower here. I mean, hawk EQ. You still don't take any damage. So, this is an interaction we're familiar with. And I'm using my... Mighty mine on the bank. I'm just gonna go Hawk Rider here. He will most likely just decide to go for a bomb tower. Can just go for a cracker. I'm just gonna go for 
ability here. I mean for earthquake here, now I'm just gonna go now for this here. I'm using my Ice Spirit. Lock. Quicker gets a shot. I'm just gonna go from Earthquake here. Okay, the good thing is I'm back already to another. Okay, I'm using my Ice Spirit here. Ice Spirit is coming down. Good Ice Spirit. What a game so far, guys. What an absolutely intense game so far. Quicker. Mm. I'm just gonna go Hawk Rider here and I'm just gonna go in for my Earthquake. Can we get one shot here? Would be really cool. I'm just gonna go in for this, this. King Tower activation now, that's great. Good goblins. Please don't smash your goblins. Okay, it doesn't really matter to be fair. Okay, I'm just gonna use my EQ here. My spirit. Kinda scared of his firecracker, just like destroying everything. And Firecracker does destroy anything. Bro, how broken is that? Shoot, please. No. Okay, that's like a shot from him, right? Yes. Ah, it's not looking too good. I'm still trying my best. Of course I am. It's not over yet, but it's not looking too good. Evolution Cracker is coming down, of course. Hmm. Earthquake. For my Q here, Ice Spirit. Please, Hawk. <gasps> Hawk got the shot! I cannot believe this! Let's go! We did it! What an absolutely amazing game! I think with this game, we should be back number one in the entire world today. Hopefully. Let's see. Let's see. Let's kind of take a look here. But what an absolutely close game, right? This deck is absolutely crazy. So, we are back. On number one in the entire world, this is absolutely incredible. Also, guess, as you guys can see here, the last four games, five games, I mean, no, four games, four games to adjust mirror match. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys don't want to miss any videos just like that. And tomorrow, there will be another video with another card evolution deck.